In this video, I'm going to show you how to import or export your contacts to and from your Outlook Online account. Now, this can be particularly useful if, for example, you're wanting to move your contact list across to another email account within Outlook, or it could be that you have a Google account and you want to bring your contacts into a new Outlook account. Let's first of all take a look at how to export our contacts. Now, to do this, we need to go to the People menu from the left-hand side, and this is where we can see all contacts. So we have three contacts in this account just now. So how do we take these contacts and export them? Well, what we do is we click on Manage Contacts, and then we choose Export Contacts. Now, this will ask us which folder we want to export our contacts from. Now, in this case, I've only got one set up. It could be that you have different folders to manage different contacts, but we're just going to choose all contacts because that's the only option available. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click export. And in doing so, it will generate this CSV file, which contains lots of information about your contacts. Now, in this case, I've actually only populated three fields. So we've got first name, last name, and email address. But if you've added any extra information within the contact itself, then that will be displayed within this spreadsheet. Now, if we want to bring contacts in, so import contacts, well, we walk through the same method, but instead of using export, we use import. So we go to our all contacts from the people menu, we choose manage contacts, and this time we choose import contacts. Now here it asks you to upload a CSV file, and obviously you want to make sure that you have as much information about the contacts as possible. And it probably helps here to try and keep it in a similar format in terms of the way that the exported CSV looks. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll click on Browse and we'll locate the file we want to upload, which in this case is this contact list here. Again, it's a CSV file. We're going to click on Open and then it's going to remind us down here that the contacts which will be imported will not overwrite any existing contacts, which is good news. If you need more information though, you can click on Learn More. But for now, we're going to click on Import and it tells us that three contacts were imported. Now, we only had three contacts within our spreadsheet, so this is good news. Let's click on cross, and now I can see they have been brought in. So Derek, Frank, and Terry are three of the contacts that have been brought in. And you'll see when we click on them, we have all of the information, such as their name, and their email for each of these contacts. So next time you're looking to maybe copy some contacts or export and import, please do consider using those methods there. Hopefully you find this video to be useful. If you have, hit that like button. Feel free to drop any comments that you might have about this method or moving contacts into the comments here below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Of course, if you have any suggestions for other videos, then please do drop them also into the comments area. And of course, if you haven't already done so, do consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified about any future video releases. Now, if you have enjoyed this particular Outlook tutorial, then I have plenty more on my channel, so be sure to check them out. But thanks again for watching.